My name is Ruja Lazarova. I come from Bulgaria. I was born in the capital city, Sofia, and arrived in France in September 1991, just over a year after the downfall of communism. All through 1989, I can't say that we did not know that communism was about to collapse. It had begun in May, beginning of June, with the Tiananmen events. I don't know how we got those images of Tiananmen Square. But we were uh, flabbergasted to see that people were resisting the tanks and the whole system. We also saw how the unrest ended in bloodshed. And we were then shocked by the fall of the Berlin Wall. Some people said, they're knocking the wall down. We said, this is not possible. It can't happen. I remember seeing a picture of someone climbing on top of the wall. But I saw most of the pictures a long time afterwards, when I was in France, in documentaries. In the evening of November 10, 1989, we learned that Jivkov had been deposed. We could not believe it. We phoned a lot of people. We went outside with friends from the university. Outside, as usual, you could not hear much apart from the trams. People looked pale, preoccupied with their heads down, as usual. We were shouting, freedom, freedom, but nothing changed at the beginning. And a few weeks later, students started creating the Students' Forum. They started informing themselves and setting up ad hoc organizations. And we organized sittings outside the National Assembly, demanding the repeal of Article 1 of the Constitution, which conferred total power upon the party. Bulgaria was dominated by the Ottoman Empire for five centuries. We withstood violent pressure for a long period of time by foreign forces, and so we tend to think that Bulgarians are used to being subdued. That's who we are, a subdued people with our heads down all the time. And maybe it's true, but it may also be because of Russia. Russia was very strong, and Bulgaria is a long way from Europe. And I must say that, alas, Bulgaria was never a subject of concern for Europe. Because we're such a small country, we are afraid of Russia, extremely afraid. They have direct access to the country by the Black Sea. In contrast, countries like Poland, well, not Poland, actually, but Czechoslovakia or Hungary, are protected by a buffer zone of former Soviet Union countries like the Ukraine or Belarus. When we had to ask something or thank somebody for something, a teacher, a doctor, for example, people would bring chocolates or candy to make sure they would be well cared for. Because of the system, civil servants, that is, the whole population, people who worked in schools, hospitals, companies, behind counters, everyone, they were... Uh, how can I explain this? Their, their frustration, they use their small amount of power to crush other people. 
So, to butter them up, people would bring flowers or chocolate to thank them so that, for instance, they'd get a haircut, doctors would cure us totally, not partially. The healthcare system was free, but it was so bad. People say that free education is good, but what kind of system would teach its pupils lies all their life? You wake up when you're 40 and realize the world is very different to what you've learned. <laughs> Reality is not the one you've always been taught. That you don't know anything about World War I, World War II, the 70s. You were fed a pack of lies and it was for free. I prefer a schooling system that is not free in these conditions, although it creates inequalities, imbalances, etc. Communism lasted 30 years. In Bulgaria and elsewhere, well, not exactly, but in Bulgaria at least, the atrocities and murders lasted 10 or 15 years. But after we experienced 20 or 30 years of simple life without apparent signs of violence for outsiders. You couldn't see it. You could only see that people were enclosed. Without the code to decipher the situation, you could not understand it. I went to China two or three years ago. I really wanted to go there. And I arrived in a country with a totally different alphabet to the ones I knew. Cyrillic and Latin. Culture, traditions, colors, everything was different, but it's a country marked by socialism. The same buildings, the same people with their heads down who fear the police, who don't say anything, who distrust everyone. So I was at the other end of the planet, in a country that had nothing to do with mine, but it felt like home at the same time. It seems that this regime standardized the countries under its rule. It made them identical. I never experienced this feeling of familiarity in France, although it's a European country and much closer to my original culture than China. A friend of mine lived in Germany, in the former West Germany, after reunification. He was a resident artist and once said that he started talking with a German guy and immediately knew that he was an East German. <laughs> a second after he opened his mouth, immediately. He said to me, we filled our glasses and drank to Honecker. I can't really explain. We both think that there is something that separates Western and Eastern Europeans that will never disappear. An experience you can't share. There are so many newspapers here, and this is particular to France with its left-wing parties. The importance of the French Communist Party, the French Revolution, these dreams and ideas. With my book, I face difficulties. Sometimes at book fairs, I meet people who are delighted with it. They think it's hard-hitting, regardless of whether they buy it or not. They are moved, curious. But there are also stalwarts. That's what we call them in Bulgaria. If I told people over there that you can still find those people in France, they wouldn't believe me. I was attacked by people who threw my book at me, saying, these things you're describing didn't happen that way. But some guy who has never left France says it wasn't like that. Without Stalin, the Krauts would still be here. 
Et la bataille de Stalingrad, où on serait on serait sur la botte de Bosch. Euh, Historical misunderstanding, lack of interest in what really happened. They don't even want to read my book. Ils veulent même pas lire. 